What is up, my rowdy friends? It's Rockin' Roberta. I'm in West Seattle right now wearing double horns. I miss West Seattle. I miss living on the beach. Um, I do and I don't. It was good for me to move, especially around the time I decided to start my recovery process because when I lived on the beach, it was nothing but a party, and that's a fact. So I don't really miss it. I miss the air quality and the safety aspects of it. It was a lot safer over here in West Seattle than where I'm at now. But I do like my condo a lot better than the small, small, tiny 400 square foot apartment I had on the beach. But I wanted to talk about my opinion on Kratom today because a lot of people ask me. And I did Kratom for about a year and that was around the time that I was going through my Suboxone withdrawal. I think it was about two weeks after I got off Suboxone, two to three weeks. I don't remember exactly. I have a playlist if you want to go back to my Suboxone withdrawal and check it out. For those of you who are new to my channel, you, I have a taper playlist and a Suboxone and a withdrawal playlist of Suboxone. So anyway, I, I was out with my neighbor and my neighbor had some Kratom and was like, yeah, have you ever tried Kratom? And I had heard about it before, but I hadn't tried it. And he's like, yeah, here you go. And he gave me a little bag and I was like, oh, cool. This might come in handy when I'm going through my withdrawal process. Cause I had heard about it and, uh, I found menthol Kratom and Carpo, two of my favorite channels, um, on YouTube, of course. And I just started kind of learning about it and uh, yeah so I tried when I tried Kratom for the first time I was like hell yeah because I felt so bad I mean it took me it took me a long time to get through the Suboxone withdrawal and I was getting ready to go back to work and I was really kind of worried because I was like god my energy level is just so low so I took the Kratom and I started taking it and I was just, I was taking a little bit to, to begin with. I think um, the first time I tried it, it was like half of a teaspoon or even maybe a like quarter of a teaspoon. I had actually tried it one time before that, a couple years prior to that and I had a bad experience. I'll go into that another time. But uh, yeah, and I was like, I like, I really like the green strain. And so that's what it was and I think it was called green elephant so anyway I was like oh hell yeah it gave me a sense of, of energy it it made me feel a little bit euphoric but nothing to where I was out of control and that's the thing about Kratom is you can take it and you're not gonna get wasted off of it um, if you take too much you can get sick which has happened to me and there's just like a, a level like you Less is more with Kratom, right? But the problem was when I started really relying on it, and because I'm an addict, I started taking, having to take more and more. And that's the thing with Kratom is, if you have addictive qualities in your personality like me, you can, you just wanna feel, you wanna feel better than, like, I felt good, but I wanted to feel better than good because that was just the addict in me, you know? Like, I couldn't ever be just um, content with, I could never just be content with feeling good. I had to try to up it. And that was, that was one of my biggest problems. So, yeah, that's the thing about where I live now is I never have to parallel park. So, that's easy. So, yeah, I just kept doing more and more. Well, that little half teaspoon turned into like five or six tablespoons a day. <laughs> and then I just quit cold turkey, right? After a couple months or whatever. And then I showed it on my channel. And it was kind of misleading because... I was talking about my Kratom withdrawal, but actually I hadn't gone through the Suboxone withdrawal process yet. Because just because you get off Suboxone and you're going through Suboxone withdrawal and you replace it with Kratom and you're still going through Suboxone withdrawal, it's, you're not done. Suboxone withdrawal, it's a long process. 
And so when I came off the Kratom, I jumped off from like a high dose and I was whacked out of my gourd. And that's because I didn't taper. I didn't take care of myself to begin with. I was abusing the Kratom. And so I'll link the, the video to what I was going through. I was a fucking mess. I was a mess. And I don't attribute that to Kratom. I attribute it to drug abuse and, and abuse. I was abusing Kratom and I was, I wasn't fully done with my, my withdrawal. So then, you know, I got off the, the Kratom and for a while, and then I started dabbling with it again. And I'm like, Oh, well, I'll just take a little bit here and there. Well, it felt so good to me that I wanted to take it all the time. And so I did. And then I started taking a lot again. And so I had to keep but this time when I got off of it, the, the second time I tapered and I tapered down to a very small, like one fourth of a teaspoon. Right. And I was okay. So, I mean, I probably felt like I had the flu, not the flu, but like a little cold for a few days, I think four days. And then I think I've tapered off Kratom about four times, maybe five. I don't know. But every time after the first time I taper off, it would be, I would do it really slow and it would be fine. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal. But the thing about it is like my opinion on Kratom is I think it's a really helpful herb. I think that um, it can benefit a lot of people. For me, it's not it's not a good a good deal. Like I have a bad relationship with kratom, so I have a bad relationship with opiates. I have a bad relationship with marijuana. There were times where I've had a bad relationship with alcohol, um, but yeah, for me, it's it's just it's not the thing. But like I said, it helps a lot of people, and I'm pro kratom, and I actually. You know, I sign the petitions and I, I watch the Kratom channels and I support the vendors and I support, support small businesses. So if you want to get any Kratom, go check out Carpo's, Carpo's channel. And like I said, I will link his channel in the comment section. I don't think Menthol doesn't, Menthol Kratom doesn't, uh, he's not a Kratom vendor. But um, Carpo is, he just, he, Menthol used to talk about Kratom, I don't think he's on it anymore. But anyway, yeah, and I'll link the video to my breakdown, my total meltdown. You guys can check that out. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you all later. Have a great day.